I'm thrilled to announce that as of today, my book is available in every country where Amazon does business. So thank you to all of my international viewers for your patience. My book is available to you on your country's Amazon website. This is the easiest plane that locks in a three-dimensional shape and flies absolutely beautifully. So let's see it in action and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold this plane is an A4 sheet of paper or an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm using A4 here, but either works. So we're going to begin by folding the right edge to the left edge and just folding it in half. And once you do that, go ahead and open your paper up. And now you wanna fold your top edge down to the bottom and you're leaving just two inches or five centimeters from your bottom edge, like so. And that's just an estimation, it doesn't have to be exact. And then you'll go ahead and open your paper up. Now there is a very slight difference between the A4 version and the eight and a half by 11 version, and that is on this step. With the A4 version, we're just folding the top edge to that crease we just made, like so. With the eight and a half by 11 version, just fold the top one and a half inches down. And in both versions, you're going to open that back up and fold your top edge to the crease you just made. From here on, the planes are going to be identical in terms of their steps. Okay, and once you do that, go ahead and just fold the paper down on this bottom horizontal crease. And now fold your top edge into the center. Do that on the other side as well. And now we can go ahead and open both of those back up. And I'm going to fold this edge here into the diagonal crease. I'll leave just a tiny little gap there, which will help with the next step. I'll do the same thing on this side. Again, I just leave a tiny gap between the edge of this layer and that crease. Your plane should look like this. And then you can fold in on both sides. Now I'm going to rotate the plane into this position. And basically I want to pull on this pocket while holding this flat. And I'm going to create a crease that runs right along this edge here to the center point. And once I do one side, I can go ahead and just pull that open in the other direction and do the same thing. And now you can see we have those converging creases. So as I fold my plane in half here, you can see it kind of wants to swing forward. And if yours isn't doing that, just encourage it to do so. And let that swing all the way forward as you fold your plane in half. like so. And now we are ready to fold our wings. And basically I'm going to start my wing crease just a little bit above the nose here. And I want to fold right through this joint, this kind of elbow that is formed to you. So my wing crease will start down here and it will slope up toward the back going right through that joint. And your wing will look something like this. And once you do one side, just go ahead and flip the paper over and fold your other side to match. And there you go. Now this should fly very, very well for you, probably even without any up elevator, but if you find that it's diving down at all, you can of course bend the back edges of the wings up just slightly. And with that, good luck flying your plane.